Hi guys, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Werewolf, the Beast Among Us. So, this movie, first of all, I actually watched it by accident. I looked at the, um, I bought it many, many years ago uh, from Walmart and um what actually made me interested in this movie is I had just seen Underworld Awakening <clears throat> also about vampires and werewolves. Uh but Steven Rhea um he is this guy right here. Alright. So, he was in Underworld Awakening. <coughs> and, of course, he was the villain in that one. And this one, so, this movie uh, was after I watched Underworld Awakening and everything. I saw the cover, and I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. Um... And so I bought it because it was a cheaper movie. And so when it comes to vampires and werewolves, 99.9% .9 of the time I love more vampire movies than werewolf movies. Um, I just think that werewolf movies are a hit or miss for me <clears throat> um, most of the time. Uh, so this one, this one was really good. It was, re um, really entertaining. Um, obviously it had cheesy parts in it and there's a lot of cheesy parts, but <sighs> sorry guys, it's been a long day. Um, but this movie is overall good. It was very entertaining. It was cheesy, not in a Sharknado cheesy kind of way. Um, so that's always good. Um, but I, I really love some of the shocking moments that are in it. It really does have some good moments in it. And it, it really is a good werewolf movie. Um, I was actually surprised because it wasn't like released to theaters or some big movie or anything like that. Um, and I don't think that it got as much attention as it deserved because I really do think that, um, I mean, it would have been cool to see a sequel, uh, especially if they would have had some of the original stars in it, so. So, the movie is about werewolf hunters, and they stumble upon a village that's being ravaged by a werewolf, and, um, so, there's a kid who works at the morgue, I do believe, I haven't watched it in a while, um, which I am going to soon again. Um, and his mother works at um, a local bar or something like that. Um, it's like very European. Like not everyone doesn't speak European or anything like that. Like any different languages or anything like that. Um, but I mean like you could tell that it wasn't... filmed in a in a um like it wasn't filmed in America in a current time so oh yeah look at that on the back of that case and the werewolf or part of it anyway it looks really good look at that anyway so 
This is rated R for bloody violence and grisly images throughout. And it's a uh, celebrate 100 years of Universal. Uh, and there's lots of good stuff like deleted scenes, making the monster, the transformation of the beast, stuff like that. Um, so there's a lot of goodies on here. And um, I'm actually going to get the Blu-ray version of this so it's in higher quality. Um, especially since I've been converting everything from DVD to Blu-ray or 4K, whichever is the highest quality it can go. Um, I looked online and I didn't see any 4K, so I'm just going to have to go with the Blu-ray. But anyway, yeah, check this out. Um, it is very entertaining. It is something to watch on a lazy day, maybe. And um, it is very thoroughly entertaining. Um, like I said, it's not Sharknado cheesy, so you don't have to worry about it being anything like that. Um, it has a good story. Uh, and it, and it's, it is pretty good. It is entertaining. It is pretty good. Um... It's one of the better werewolf werewolf movies that I've seen in a while. Like I said, they're very far few and in between, so which really sucks. Because I love horror movies and werewolf movies, especially um what is it? Silver Moon is what it was called. Silver Moon or Blood Moon. Anyway, there's that one, uh, Silver Bullet, and Project Metal Beast. Uh, the werewolves always bother, bother me with, because they weren't, like, digitally animated. They were, like, had the, it was prosthetic and everything, and they had the really creepy contacts in, and it was, um, when I was little, they, it just all creeped me out. Uh, werewolf movies are were the only horror movies that ever bothered me when I was younger when I watched horror movies um, so yeah and the howling ones were really good too the earlier ones and then they got ridiculous after a while but anyway so yeah check this out it's a good movie has some good actors in it and actresses and it's a good story and it's entertaining so what more could you want from a movie with a little bit of cheese in there to make it cheesy cheesy good though not Sharknado cheesy so <clears throat> if you haven't watched it watch it and if you like my review make sure you like uh, comment and subscribe to my channel, and until next time, have a good night, everybody.